Good day, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ademola Adonis. If you are just seeing my video for the first time, I chose to have a scholarship in front of So today, it's been a while that I've posted, but I thought of like sharing with you guys um, the very important information towards your admission search for fall 2025, particularly some of us that are looking to apply to the US. So today, this video will be about how I check for professors with funding, most specifically uh, related to the United States. And without further ado, let's get started. This video is going to be short because it's just a short information. So for us to navigate the website, I think I should give a little bit of context. Uh, like we all know, Searching for professors is very important towards our admission process, especially the professor you put into your statement of purpose. And of course, it's always a problem because we don't know um, the professor that really has this funding. So probably we've highlighted professors that is not even accepting students in that current uh, academic year. So for us to be a little bit safe, probably in the safe zone, zone so I think uh, it's important we have this kind of um, information. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. So majorly, the name of the um, website is the NSF uh, website. So that is the National Science Foundation website. So they have this type of award for PI, that is professors of you know, interest or principal investigator. So this website, um, they tend to give award to professors, especially professors who are associate professors, they give them some um, um, funding so that they can get students into their labs. So um, for you to be able to see these professors, you come, you have to come to this website. And for you to really see the result, you just have to type your research into it. For instance, if I am interested in, let's say, let's say I'm interested in maybe battery or something. For instance, if I'm interested in battery research, so I'm going to type in battery research and I'll click on search button. So from this search button, we are going to see the result. So as you can see, we have uh, a lot of results being displayed, um, like you are going to see the award number, the principal investigator, that is the uh, name of the professor, um, the co-principal investigator, also the name of the university, the award start date, the award amount. So you just have to click the, I think it's better if you click on table right there so that you are able to see the full details. So when you scroll, I think when you scroll to this side, maybe from up to down, you are going to see all these uh, information. And also you can scroll this horizontal bar for you to see some other fields that are not being uh, well displayed. Now, the year is a thing you can as well do. You can sort by date, maybe from the most recent award. So I think when you click on date, so when you just click on it, it's going to sort it out, I, I guess. So I think this is around 1995, 2009, 2010. So I think you can click, click it again. So it's going to sort it out. So you can see from here, we have, in fact, we have a word um, that dated up to like 2025, right? that is next year. So you can see the represent, uh, recipient of all these awards. So from then, that will give me a kind of hint about the university that I can apply to and also the professor I can mention in the, this type of research, basically, in factory research. So we have like um, the name, I think the title of the work, we have the title, the NSF organization, the program, start date. So, so we also have the state, the organization that is the name of the university mostly. So you just have to look. So for instance, if I'm interested in Clemson University, so I'll just go to this um, university and look for this professor, Zio Yui. I think the name of the um, 
um, project is computation and number theory. So you just have to check them one after the other. Just check. Yeah, just check. I think these are um, related research uh, concerning battery. I think you can also modify. Maybe you have a specific part. Let's say you are, uh, you, you are interested in computational um, material development. So let's say I'm interested in computational material development. So we're going to do the search again. So you click on table. Also, you can click on date so that you um, have it sorted. So we can see different research con concerning this um, computational material development. So based on, of course, it is going to take you a lot of time for you to see that particular research that you really want, but you have to like navigate. You can go to the next page. You can click on next page. Where are we there? So you are going to see a lot of them to enable connect of the topological semiconductivity into the metal or material. Um, nanoscale resolution. You see all these polymeric materials. Imagine rheology of blend from containing supramolecular polymers. We, we have a lot of them. So if you are interested in polymer research, those are like uh, professors that you can check. Maybe I'm interested in, uh, let's see, for instance, maybe carbon materials. So maybe I'm interested in carbon materials. Let's see what is it is going to bring. Table, we can click so you can see different uh, type two chemistry and physics of graphitic carbon so which are quite nice so of course you have to sort the date click it twice so here we have another one the evolving organic substrate as the critical in between changes, changes in organic matter and global global well, geochemical sulfur carbon and oxygen recycling we have uh, all these different type of uh, topics so you just have to check them one after the other. Of course, it's a lot of award. Yeah, and you can see the amount of the award a, a lot. Of course, most of them will not be used. Most of the money will not be used to recruit that student. Some part of it might be attributed to buying of equipment, the, the specific equipment or something like that. But of course, for most of the time, the money is being used to recruit a new graduate student. So, yeah, and I think when you send, when you put these professors into your CV or you send them an email, you shouldn't mention in the email that, oh, I check your uh, profile or I check your um, funding information on NSF website and I saw that you got this amount of money. It will be very unprofessional of you to uh, give that kind of first impression. So I think that's not the best way to go about sending email to a professor and you initially started talking about the amount of money he won for his funding. So I think it's not, not really that good. So you just have to mention yourself. And also you you talk about having a um, passion for the type of research he or she is doing. So I think it's important that we send that kind of message across. So also, from here, you can see the uh, schools that you can apply to, and also you can target for your admission application as well. So there's a long list of them. So this is not just it's in a one page. You have to take your time to check through. Of course, you can read through the, I think, abstracts. Probably each of them has an abstract. I'm not sure. Yes, there's an abstract. So that will give you some kind of information regarding um, the details of their work. So not just the title, you can go ahead to read the abstract. So yeah. So if you have any question, I also have information pertaining to Canada. So I think this is specifically for um, United States. So endeavor to check it out. So I will see you guys in the next um, video. I wish you guys um, a happy weekend. Thank you.